All right, we move on next to the Montreal Canadiens. And we also got a few questions here that, that kind of touch on a number of things. But our first question comes from Matt, and it's a hard one to answer. Why did the Montreal Canadiens not select Matt Vay Michkov? Why didn't a lot of teams select him? You know, so Montreal, of course, drafts David Reinbacher, top defenseman. Matt Vay Michkov is exceptional. The thing that makes it a little more interesting that Maffei Michkov did not get selected by Montreal is they probably would have been one of the teams best positioned to have some intelligence on Michkov. Nick Bobrov, who is in their scouting department, who is one of uh, just a, an incredibly respected scout and a guy that I think is very smart about all things and all things Russia, who would work for Scott St. Petersburg for a period of time. If anybody knew what it was going to take to get Mitchkov and, and if it was going to be worth it for them, it's probably him. Um, I think part of the reason also Mitchkov definitely, uh, you know, not definitely speculation is that he, he preferred American teams. Um, I think he would have been satisfied going to a Montreal or someplace like that. However, he, you know, I don't necessarily know that that was going to be the right fit for him. You know, Mitchkov with the spotlight of Montreal, with all the scrutiny he's under, you know, I think that that's another place where you say, is this the right fit for our franchise? On top of that, you look at when you have your top two forwards as Cole Caulfield and Nick Suzuki, who are, you know, undersized relative to their positions. That's another place where you say, can we conti can we continue to load up on players like that? Does, does he make one of those other players expendable? Um, and then you also have to wait. And I don't think that the that the Montreal Canadiens are really interested in waiting those three years when they've got to start trying to put things together. I think David Reinbacher will, could potentially be there sooner. It's not a guarantee, uh, but I think that's a you know ultimately there are a lot of reasons probably why they didn't want Mitchkov. Um, but not the least of which, you know, they, if they, if they wanted the Intel that they needed to get, they had one of the perfect people to get it for them, um, in Bobrov. So, uh, that's an interesting one. No question about it. We'll be talking about that for years to come.